Hey what's up you guys, it's Nibbler, and today I'm going to be giving you new information about the Halloween event that is coming to Apex Legends. On August 29th, I made a video going over an article Respawn Entertainment came out with talking about a new October event. The main point of this article wasn't to tease us about the upcoming Halloween event, but rather to give us an insight about the past Voidwalker event. So not much was known about the event until a couple of days ago. So now I'm here to talk about what this event is, where it will take place, and all the new skins that will be coming out with it. Before I continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for new leaks and news and if you're looking for a complete crypto guide on basic and advanced tips I will have my crypto guide linked in the description below so let's just jump right into the video so first I want to go over the code that was data mined by ilu games then I will show you guys all the amazing skins that will be released starting with the name in the description of this new LTM this will be called shadow squad for a limited time a warped version of the apex games will be hosted at night in an abandoned Kings Canyon by a mysterious figure only known as as reverent. Solo legends will fight to the death, but with a dark twist, when legends die, they will be reborn on the Shadow Squad, an ever-growing faction of dark legends who return from the dead to haunt their living counterparts with increased mobility and brutal melee attacks. The last 10 living legends will join forces to try and escape while the Shadow Squad attempts to stop them at all costs. Now on the screen is another code that I will not cover in detail, but this shows more voice lines and hints to what you will be doing in the actual LTM. But what can we gather from the description? Well, we know that the community has been asking for souls to come back and respawn is listening The shadow squad game mode will also be a solo game mode as said in the description itself Not to mention that this sounds a lot like the game mode called infected from the call of duty series I suppose that one player will be chosen at random to become the first shadow squad member while everyone else goes to loot Once the first shadow squad member is chosen They will have to go around and infect everyone else to win the game If you're not infected then your job is to kill a certain amount of shadow squad members to unlock your escape route to win and the last thing that we know for sure is where it will be taking place. This new LTM will be taking place on the map that we all know a little too well, Kings Canyon, but at night. I can't wait to see how this new LTM works and how the community reacts to it. I think it will be a fun addition to the game because this seems more of a casual game mode than anything. This seems like something that you can jump into after sweating your ass off in rank. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And sorry for the really bad quality, but here's a sneak peek to what the game modes should look like. When infected, the enemies will be glowing red, the leviathans breathe green gas, Gas, and the only source of light is coming from the moon. This event will be extremely similar to the Iron Crown event. As this event will be called Fight or Fright, there are earnable supply crates for event themed items, new skins for legends, and the most important thing of all, a new melee item. Currently we only have two melee items which are Rafe's Knife and Bloodhound's Heirloom. But now for this Halloween LTM, Lifon will be receiving her own melee weapon. These look like drumsticks to me. It would also make sense for them to be drumsticks since she has an animated banner of herself drumming on the drone and because of her origin. It's nice to see other legends that people actually use getting their own personalized items. I can't wait to see what Respawn will think of for legends like Caustic, Mirage, Crypto, and Pathfinder. But now it's time for all the skins and voice lines that go along with them. And again, all this information was determined by iLoot Games so be sure to check them out. So here we go. Check yourself or wreck yourself. <laughs> you know what's scary? Not having Lifeline by your side. Loser puts on a skeleton costume. Looks like you got yourself a little spooked, eh? We all wear costumes to hide who we are. How do you know this isn't my mask? Tricks on you. We don't know who we truly are until we are faced with the loss of life. Hey, come see me after for 50% off Mirage costumes. I got all the colors of the rainbow. Ding dong, trick or trick. There's really nothing else that I think of it. Uh, boo! Looks like I'm the one doing the haunting this time. <laughs> this isn't a costume. It's a uniform. <laughs> it's who I am. And you will respect it. Show up on my door playing pretend soldier? <laughs> Here's your candy. You shouldn't fear what goes bump in the night. I'll travel every road, kick down every door, till I get what I want. You chose the wrong door to knock on. The scariest thing is knowing that death is not the end. At least for you. I find these insipid celebrations of the macabre amusing. What's your costume? Sub-average intelligence. The seasonal fascination with death is quaint. Knock, knock. Gibraltar's at the door. <laughs> hey, maybe you should take off that costume, brother. Legends don't pretend. Don't be scared. It's just Gibraltar. <laughs> Masks we wear are a part of who we are. What haunts you most is death. 
something you no longer need to fear. Only those worthy of the Allfather are worthy of a mask. You think I'm loco now? You should see me with a sugar rush! No treats for you, compadre. Better luck next time. It was this, or egg your house. And that's so boring. You can't be afraid of the dark when you know how to control the light. Your energy will return to the atmosphere. Hey, maybe that's what ghosts are. This could have been avoided if you'd just given me candy. Those are the rules. So how was that? To quickly go over all the skins, Lifeline will become a zombie, Crypto will become Count Dracula, Mirage will become a cowboy, Bangalore will have some kind of Day of the Dead costume on, Wraith will become a witch, Caustic will become a clown, Gibraltar will become Frankenstein, Bloodhound will become a scarecrow, and both Octane and Watson will be dressed up as well. No news on what Pathfinder will be, but again, I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. And let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section below. And lastly, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and be sure to check out my Crypto Advanced and Basic Tip Guide that will also be in the description below. So guys, please comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video. See ya. Bye.